हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एडिट ऐप एंड वेलकम टू द सेवनटीन लेक्चर ऑफ ए आर डी स्टार्टिंग सीरीज टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एग्रीकल्चर एक्सटेंशन एंड अंडर दिस टॉपिक वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द टाइप ऑफ एजुकेशन ओके सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आर क्लास डू रिमेंबर टू सब्सक्राइब टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ यू ऑन द पी डी एफ डू ज्वाइन आर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू वेर द पी डी एफ विल बी अपलोडेड इन नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स So before we move, let's take a quick look at the timetables. We have covered all these topics today. We are discussing the agriculture extension and type of education. But first of all, what we will do? We will discuss about the homework question. So your homework question was: Which of the following is a type of modified shifting culture? Your option are: Agro silvi pastoral system, silvi pastoral system. एग्रो पेस्टोरल सिस्टम और तुंगाया सिस्टम और ऑल द ऑप्शन आर रॉन्ग यू कैन गो फॉर नन ऑफ द अब सो दोज ऑफ यू हु आर न्यू और दोज ऑफ यू हु वॉन्ट टू रिवाइज दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन लेट्स टेक अ क्विक लुक सो वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द टाइप ऑफ फॉरेस्ट्री एंड टाइप ऑफ फॉरेस्ट्री सिस्टम पर्टिकुलरली सो फॉर यूर एग्जामिनेशन यू शुड जस्ट नो दैट हाउ वी कैन गेट द कंपोनेंट ऑफ पर्टिकुलर एग्रीकल्चर फॉरेस्ट्री सिस्टम See, you should go for the name always. And three things that you should understand is first of all, talking about the agro. Wherever in the forest system you will see agro, it means agriculture. Next, going by the silvi. So this silvi means we are growing the forest tree. Okay, we are culturing the forest tree. So wherever perennial hedges or your forest trees are involved, you will say this is silvi culture. Moving by the pastoral. Pastoral means growing pasture or gra grazing land for your animals. Okay, growing fodder crop for your animals. So that will be involved in a pastoral system. So by the name we can totally get that. See, silvi pastoral system. It means the component involved in the silvi pastoral system will be first of all silvi. That means forest for uh, forest tree we are going for. Then talking about the pastoral. Pastoral means we are growing for the grazing of the animals or livestock. going by the agro pastoral it means we are doing agriculture but with what aim for the animal to graze now going by the tungaya system see what is this tungaya system so first of all this is your land and suppose you have two strip of forest tree, tree okay on that side so since at in early stage what happened these trees are not fully developed okay they are in some planting plantation state or the height is low so what will happen this land for now this land is free there is no activity or there is no uh, you know aim going on for here so what you will do in this land you will do agriculture till your forest trees have completely grown so that will for 1 to 3 years you will do agriculture here After that, what you will do? Okay, after three years, what will happen? This tree canopy will grow. It will grow again, and the complete area will be covered by the shade. So there will be no sunlight going down, and you can't possibly do agriculture in this particular land. Now. So what you will do? You will find another land with similar system where the tree or the rows of agroforest trees are in their early stages, and you will start doing agriculture. Since you are shifting from one place to another place. you will call it modified shifting agriculture okay so the correct answer of course i have seen in the comment most of you have given the correct answer very good the answer is tungaya system okay now moving to the next today's topic first of all let's take a quick look at the pyq what the previous year question that nabad have asked so as you can see in year 2021 in phase 1 the question from agriculture extension was what is the educational test conducted by the farmer under the direct supervision of extension worker to prove advantage of recommended method your option are method demonstration result demonstration group discussion uh, exhibition or none of the above see going by the op option what are these things we are discussing how we can get it we will explain it all when we will discuss the particular topic so now let's move to the topic and what are the important thing from the topic so this topic again will be summarized okay there uh, won't be you know too much outside the uh, examination information but whatever that uh, that will be teased to you will be particularly targeted to your nabad examination okay so listen very carefully now so let's start our class so first of all we are talking about the agriculture extension simply going by the term what is agriculture extension and why we need it see we know that in india most of the 
people are dependent on agriculture itself and even in the agriculture most of our farmer are marginal or small farmers okay they made the largest group in the farmer community so what we need we need to develop this farmer if again we want good gdp we want to be a developed nation what we need we need to develop our farmers too how we can do that we can provide them good variety we can you know initiate good schemes for them we can create new technologies for them farm machinery should be there so that all we can do so we can help our farmers okay so suppose uh, you are a scientist and you have grown a crop that is very beneficial for farmers that has good productivity high yield giving uh, productivity or a seed that you have developed that can withstand arid condition or drought condition so you have developed it but what you will do after that so what you will do you will approach will you go to the farmers okay you will go to farmer a ki bhai ye seed le le then farmer will ask why should i do that will you explain it to them no that will be a very hectic process that will be very slow it will be very difficult for you to explain it will be very time consuming process so what you will do you will approach this is you this is farmer farmer has a problem of drought you have developed a seed that can help farmer with this particular problem but between you two there will be agriculture extension worker so this worker will learn the technology from you will gather the farmer and will transfer the technology okay so this is the agriculture extension worker i'm now moving to what is agriculture extension then this is a transfer of either technology seed new method okay new development that had been done new researches that had been done from scientist or developers to our farmer or end user that become your agriculture extension okay so agriculture extension done in the farms done by the farmer done to the farmer by scientist okay and the medium is our agriculture extension worker now since we are talking about agriculture extension worker what we need we first of all what we are doing we are educating farmer okay we are giving some knowledge to them we are transferring technology to them we are transferring high yielding seed to them so we are doing beneficial things for them so first of all we should know about the education and what are the types of education so talking about the type of education there can be a formal edu informal education formal education or non formal education so let's have a quick look at the discussion so i think if all of us are preparing for navad examination you all might have uh, or must have the graduation degree so what we did 12th tak we studied in school then we did college 3 4 5 years okay then we are able to uh, get or get you know technical uh, we have gained technical knowledge in our field to okay we can apply that knowledge to we are applying the knowledge to so this all the, this type kind of education that are done in a systematic manner okay there is a structure to uh, present to that and that is given by any institute now this institute can be your school this institute can be your uh, you know college this institute can be your university so that all is formal education jiski aapke paas degree hai ki i have done it now beside that okay i think most of our schools have what co curricular activities so outside the school the things we do for uh, you know for in vacation you have learned the uh, things or you are a scientist you are giving some seminar workshop that has been done so outside the formal education for a period of time you are giving the education that comes under your informal education okay and the informal education it doesn't have a particular structure suppose the, uh, you are telling or giving a seminar from for the seed that you have developed for the farmers so for a institute uh, for if you are giving the seminar in a research institute so what you will tell you will tell ki when a technology develop kaise ki or what is the responsible gene but on the other hand if you are going to the farmer to give seminar some there are advanced farmer okay progressive farmer are there there you won't bother ki mere ko gene batane i should tell you will change the your method of technology what you will tell them you will tell them method what are the benefits okay how much output is there what are why is the farmer should uh, take this technology you will explain that kind of knowledge so the, this particular this will called informal education it won't have a rigid structure to it okay it can be uh, it is a little fluid you can change the nature according to your receivers okay moving to the non formal education okay informal non formal now what is this uh, informal and formal we have discussed then what is this non formal education see at every moment we are learning something okay from outside 
Beside these two, when somebody is not teaching, but we are learning from the experiences. Okay, the environment you live in, the work, the place you work in, you every day you learn something new. So this is the non-formal education. There is no and ki bhai, this is the uh, professional that is giving you knowledge. There is no credit uh, degree or something or uh, you know a stance given to that. But you are learning from the experiences, learning from the talk they are giving. Okay, they are telling you something. Something. So that is the non-formal education. Now these two have a structured period. Twelve uh, for completing your school you took 12 years okay these have you know time period for formal education suppose you are uh, informal education suppose you are in uh, giving this talk to the farmers so in this case the, the workshop will be for three uh, suppose day or if you are giving seminar it will be for two hours so again the time is there but non-formal is something that you learn throughout the life it's an ongoing process for right now uh, you know we are learning something even in the chat when we discuss we learn something so that all become your non-formal education so i hope that is clear now we will study about the method of agriculture extension that means how you can transfer by what means you can transfer the technology the method or anything to the farmer so talking about the method of ag extension education First of all, we will talk about the farm and home visit. Now, I am saying you are visiting home of the farmer or the farm of the farmer, where the field of the farmer where they are working. What does this mean now? So, you direct face to face contact you are giving. Our farmer ke paas jaane bol bhai, ye hai, that is that is that is the problem and that is the solution. Or if they are already doing something, you can tell no, go by this method, not by this method. So that kind of face to face conversation face to face conversation will be called farm and home visit. So you can go either farm and tell their family members or you sorry if you can go to farm you will tell the farmer present even in the group of farmers suppose uh, in a field there are four or five farmers so you can gather them and you can give the knowledge now if you you can also go to their uh, family suppose agriculture census has been uh, you know uh, taking on or some census is going on so what what you will do you will reach their farmers to know their number or to know other things now moving to the method demonstration what we are doing we are demonstrating a method what does it mean suppose again you have developed a seed okay you have developed a very good seed that is very beneficial for farmer now what you will do you will tell them ki bhai how you should uh, uh, do it suppose there is some other method uh, you should tell ki you should pick the soil like this put the seed in like this cover the seed then water it it's uh, under explaining it to you in a very layman language and very simple method but i hope that will be clear to you so you are telling them step by step and while telling them you are showing them okay you are performing the action and you are showing them ki, okay see i am doing this you should do this you should do this then farmer will reciprocate multiply and do it uh, on their own way so you are showing the technique at the same time you are saying that you are doing the technique and carrying out a new practice so a simple example can be suppose paneer making you are telling okay take the uh, milk here do this then filter it then cover it and your paneer is prepared so this is called your method demonstration going by the result demonstration now in the method demonstration you are showing the method so in result de demonstration what you will show show result so why result demonstration so, suppose again you have developed the seed now you go to the farmer you say okay, okay you have taken the agriculture extension worker with you and he will say ki, okay this is xyz seed grow that in your field of course the first question farmer will, will ask why to answer the why, what you can do, either you can tell them that okay, bhai productivity will increase, bhai result will increase, bhai income will increase. Or what you can do, you can show them. Take normal seed, take the seed that you have developed, grow them both. And show the farmer that they will change. Kitna. So farmer will be, of course, you know, they will understand it. They will be convinced easily when you are going with the result demonstration method. So now going by the definition. Kya information will be uh, result demonstration se? So it's a proving the advantage. You are showing the result. You are proving something when we are talking about the result demonstration of the recommended practice and to demonstrate their applica applicability in the local condition. As I have told you, ki dry line condition. So you are saying ki, okay, the seed that I have developed has good resistance. So ki aapke local condition mein hai. Bhai, if you have developed the seed that is resistant to you know arid condition, you won't go to the place where plenty of water is there good irrigation is there uh, when, uh, good monsoon is there even sometimes flood is there you won't go there ki say ki bhai, the seed, grow the seed you will go where the problem of drought is there okay so this is result demonstration you will show the result 
and conduct by the farmer under and again the farmer will be involved because who will show the result farmer will show the result ki dekho i have used the seed and these are the result so is conducted by the farmer under direct supervision of extension uh, extension professional so professional will guide ki okay the stuff that have been taught to the farmer is the farmer doing it okay now the result are there he will collect the other uh, farmers or the beneficiaries they will tell them he see the ex farmer has used uh, ex seed and see how good are the result you should go for it too okay now your seed or the seed that you have developed will be very famous and people will use it since you have demonstrated the results now beside these there are group discussion now what is different about group discussion see again you have developed the seed you have shown the result and you you know expect ki everybody now uh, adopt the technology but again nobody is adopting or nobody is applying whatever you are expecting so why is this is happening you, what you will do in the such case you will collect the farmer and ask for their feedback ki why you are not doing this again they will tell you some problem ki uh, bhai ye nahi kami nahi hai ye kami nahi hai the enough seed is not there then you will solve it so talking about the result group discussion we are collecting a group and we are discussing it so good method of involving the local people so participation is there by the local people when we are talking about the group discussion developing a local leadership and of course through group discussion uh, you know leadership will be developed by the people ki who should tell uh, the scientists what the problem is okay who should represent the people such kind of mentality will grow from the group discussion and it will lead to the leadership that deciding on the plan of action what they should do they will also decide it in a very democratic way so small and marginal farmer that we have talked about will also have a voice ki bade farmers ke paas apply karne ke liye they have technology we are lacking the technology so they can tell you that and they can also set the course ki what we will do we will form a group we will buy the combined technology and then we will apply it so that kind of course of action and the problem solving technology uh, method come from the group discussion okay now moving to exhibition i think exhibition quite name can tell we all we have uh, done some kind of exhibition in our life in school in colleges or something so systematic display of information actual specimen model poster photograph chart in a logical sequence when they are done they are called exhibition so what you will do in the exhibition you will print some poster okay and this poster will be suppose you are creating awareness about some livestock disease so what you will do cause of disease uh, okay how you should control the disease you will provide a visual feedback to the receiver ki bhai dekho aise 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 disease hoti hai see the real specimen uh, specimen here uh, suppose you are growing a new technology okay or you want to show the farmer that if they use this variety of apple seed the good amount of or the large size apple will be produced so what they will do they will take actual size the uh, you know the variety they will pick the fruit and they will say ki okay see this variety is already beneficial it will give you good income so live specimen will be exhibited in uh, exhibition method then the other is campaign so what is different about campaign campaign is when you are solely focusing on one problem and all the attention all the activity that you are arranging are around creating awareness about this particular topic so that will become your campaign so what we do in campaign to focus the attention of the people on a particular problem now this problem i think every one of us know when the vaccine was uh, you know created for corona virus so huge campaigns were held ki why people should do uh, take vaccine what will be will be the benefits of the uh, vaccine and what are the little side effect of the vaccine how they can counter it how long for uh, uh, vaccine will be there and when the second dose will be there so all those are again simple and quite live example that is your campaign talking about the field tour again so conduct the tour for the farmer used to convince them to provide them with the opportunity of seeing the result for the new practices so what you are doing in the field to you again what is different in the field to you are inviting the farmers suppose you are a researcher what you will do you will uh, you know grow the field or you will prepare the field uh, by the variety that you have developed now what will happen as a result of that you will invite the farmer you will say dekho one day my seed will grow that after 10 days seed will happen like that after 15 days this will happen and see after 3 month my crop will grow you will say okay see normal crop take 4 month the crop or the variety that i have developed take only 3 months 
so you will demonstrate the result you will say okay see uh, the productivity of the variety that i have developed is better than the uh, uh, you know normal variety or the wild variety so you will demonstrate the result but what is the difference between field tour and result demonstration here you are inviting the farmer there the farmers were result demonstrating the result to encourage other farmers in the supervision of uh, you know agriculture extension work but here in field tours you have developed the uh, tour or you have prepared the method everything by in a sequence for the farmer and you are inviting to see this 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 will happen that's why you should use this particular technology so and to product skill again it can be applied for practice product skills technologies that you have developed the research you have done so that all can be represented giving them idea regarding the suitability and application of these thing in their own area so you can also show that suppose you have developed a seed you can show that okay in dry area that will happen in semi arid area that will happen in uh, arid area that will happen in desert area that will happen uh, i know these quite same but i think you are getting the gist that in different nature or different climate you can also show ki ye 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 cheeze hongi or different kind of soil such result will be obtained okay so that becomes your field two now moving to the other method see here we are talking about a group of farmer but suppose you need to educate to a large mass of farmer or large people so in these uh, in these cases you will have to change your method suppose you are a farmer uh, living in andhra pradesh but the variety that you have developed is uh, you know for hilly areas but that doesn't mean you will go to the farmer of uh, himachal pradesh of a particular village then you will teach them then you will move to next village then you will move to jammu kashmir then you will move to uttarakhand then you will move to north east no that will be a very hectic process so what you will do you will go for mass media okay or the medias or the medium that are present to communicate with large population so what are these medium these can be print media radio or television talking about the print media print means some kind of printing on some space the printing is involved you have ink is involved okay in quite simple term so what is this newspaper can be there you can give advertisement in the newspaper then magazine again you can print uh, the magazine or give the advertisement in the magazine then bulletin leaflet folders pamphlet and the wall news sheets are also the printing method but what is the condition for print media the very important uh, the very important condition is the uh, you know the farmer should be or the end receiver should be educated or literate or should have similar mean suppose you are printing your uh, flyer or whatever newspaper in spanish language but all your audience or the receivers are of english uh, they only know english language then there will be no use they won't be able to understand you won't be able to convince them okay so what we should do first of all they should be similar mean should be there and also they should be educated okay since you are not talking so they should be able to read what is written then only you can go for print media the better thing is to do, go for radio so what happen in radio in radio you can speak to them okay there is a audio feedback of whatever you are telling them so they will be easy. even though they can't read they will be able to hear you okay they will be able to understand you and another thing is see newspaper are a little expensive for farmers but what they can do in the community radios are there so radio are sometimes are set up by government for the benefit of farmer so uh, all the farmer themselves own the radio so they can use it uh, to listen to things okay so they go you can go for radio this is powerful medium communication again i have told you uh, uh, again least expensive it will be less expensive for you and for the farmer too for radios are both less expensive than both mean and you can advertise it and sometimes there are dedicated government programs that are only for the farmers so without you know expanding on any you know uh, you can advertise ki okay this seed is there i want to aware the farmers about it so they can uh, that can happen very easily talking about the television what is the benefit of television see when you want to convince the farmer that variety x y that z that you have developed is very good but they will ask okay who said that what is the proof of that they can ask for it so better is you give them visual proof or visual feedback too so in that case television helps a lot how you can show the result that you have developed or the uh, demonstration that you have developed you can say okay see i have developed it you can note it they will have audio as well as video feedback when we are talking about the television okay so television 
particular channel you can learn or you can go to particular channels or you can you know uh, get hold of a particular time slot in under which you will give information to the farmer so agriculture and dairy information can be easily done through uh, television so that was all for the mean how you can uh, teach a group of farmer or mass population by the uh, different extension methods okay now it's time to discuss our pyq again then we will take a look at the practice questions okay then you will have a homework question too so moving to the uh, pyq the question was what is the education test conducted by the farmers under the direct supervision of extension worker to prove advantage of recommended method i think most of you will be able to give the answer from method demonstration result demonstration group uh, discussion exhibition or campaign but again if somebody want hint or have forgotten do let me tell when we are talking about proof we are talking about result they are asking for a proof that mean they are asking the result time so the answer will be of course result demonstration quite easy moving to the next question a systematic display of information actual specimen model poster photographs and in chart in a log logical sequence are done under which of the following method these are method demonstration result demonstration group discussion exhibition and campaign so here we are talking about displaying something it means visual feedback will be there so that will of course be your exhibition quite easy quite direct question there is not some many things to understand you will have to remember it okay and i think uh, it is something that once you have studied it you will be able to get the answer right moving to the next question in which of the following method extension workers show the technique of doing things or carrying out new practice your option are method demonstration result demonstration group dis demons discussion exhibition or campaign so among these what we are talking about we are saying that things are being done the technique that you are doing on the same time so of course that will be method demonstration because you are showing them ki ye dekho method ye hai देखो टेक्निक ये सो दैट बिकम्स योर मेथड डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज योर होमवर्क क्वेश्चन ओके द होमवर्क क्वेश्चन इज वट इज द टाइप ऑफ एजुकेशन प्रोवाइडेड इन द प्रिमाइस ऑफ स्कूल वेयर अ पर्सन मे लर्न बेसिक अकेडमिक और ट्रेड स्किल क्वाइट इजी क्वाइट डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन इफ यू नो द आंसर डू लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ओके द क्वेश्चन ऑप्शन आर इनफॉर्मल फॉर्मल नॉन फॉर्मल प्राइमरी और नन ऑफ द अब do let me know the answer in the option uh, sorry comment section okay so that was all for today i hope you will find this lecture very helpful for your nabard examination if you enjoy the lecture do let me know that in the comment okay i'll read them so if you want to contact us you can contact us at hello@edutab.co.in if you want to check our our website this is this will be the address okay so thank you so much i hope you will have a good day